Hey Unix, hi Amy Cat. There's a lurking plumber as well. Hello, how are you doing? Twitch app seems to think I'm offline. Yeah, I did. The theme support seems pretty comprehensive. I like uh, I like all the different themes in there. Is it still Chromium based? Because I did try and switch to it once upon a time, but it was felt clunky and annoying. Um, but if they've fixed that, and it's like more streamlined and customizable. I might give it another go. Does that mean all the Chrome uh, extensions will just work on it as well then? Hmm. I need to restart the Twitch app, so I'm not going to be able to read chat for a second. Um, there we go, live. That's better. Screen manager. That's better. I can see all the thingies now. That's not right. That's better. Oh. Uh, yeah, I haven't used my camera in a while. Is it even pointing at me? It's sort of like... It kind of pointing at... Yeah, that's good enough, I suppose. Hello. Wow. <clears throat> it's improved a lot. You tried it around 2016 and tried it again in 2022 and you liked it? Hello, Tino. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got water. Mm -mm. Mm. Yes, um, capture. Where's the capture? Right. I don't know if I've... I haven't captured this yet since I've changed everything. So, new capture setup. Um, mostly the same, but instead of using two different capture cards, I'm now just using one capture card to capture everything. Um... With uh, better color adjustments, higher refresh rate supported. Um, so yeah. You should even be able to see the artifact thing being created by the voodoo card, because it needs recapping. It should be like a bit a bit of a grainy fuzziness. But I think the capture's actually picking up now. <laughs> Google funding finally ending for Mozilla. Wow. Can't ever have enough capture cards, yeah. <laughs> well, um, my computer was struggling with three. Two internal and one USB. Um. <laughs> yeah, Mozilla have been doing all right on their own. They got stuff going for them. I'm sure they'll be all right. Who's that? It's the PS1 addict. Hello. Good use of the nudge there. <laughs> they aren't renewing the contract. That seems to be a, like the theme of the beginning of the financial year for 2024, doesn't it? 
Or is it the beginning of the financial year 2023? I forget how it works. Everybody is just like cancelling contracts or not renewing them. Hope you're well, PS1 Addict. I've been enjoying all your uh, your hardware pictures on the Discord. If anybody's interested, I've been uh, doing a Voodoo 2 SLI machine and... Um, yeah. Ooh, and then, then kitting out a um, Audigy 2 with the front panel header and everything. Discord. Oh, yeah, look, that's the Discord. <laughs> nice job, Tina. Um, yeah. Um, well, I promised somebody that I was going to play Star Wars Episode One, Phantom Menace, the video game we've played a bit of before. Um, but they're not here right now. Because they're at a antenatal swimming class. <laughs> um, just ordered a one gigahertz Pentium three slot one CPU for it. Noise. It's such a nice thing going for them. <laughs> I don't know. Firefox used to be brilliant. I remember when Chrome was first introduced and I was like, oh, it's going to take a lot to convince me to switch from Firefox and Thunderbird because like, the ecosystem was just really tight. Like I got my, had my Gmail plugin. It would tell me if I got a new email so I'd never miss an email. And Thunderbird was great because it would like download mail from my mail servers but like back them up as well organized them all and had a really good spam filter yeah it was good times but yeah no chrome was just chrome was pretty great i, I switched to chrome when i got like one of those early invites to gmail that was good Lots and lots of websites seem to be deliberately breaking compatibility with Firefox lately. The true Firefox. Yeah. Um Yeah, it was called WebKit, wasn't it? Is there it's like well, I used to do quite a lot of web design and I used to have to test everything three times. And you usually had to modify your code to have three different values. One that supported Internet Explorer, one that supported Chrome, and one that supported Firefox's WebKit. So it's basically just repeating your code three times, but with slightly different values. Usually with like dash web, webkit dash in front of a command, or like, or like da, ie dash. <laughs> yeah, Chrome is such a hog. I find it bizarre that we have. Um, so like resource hungry just to browse the web hmm all right <laughs> i can see what the topic of today is Mm. Hey, trance. I like that one. That's a good, nice, warm apogee intro. Got that um, OPL3 to it. I like it. Good one. Using a whole browser. Fight me. <laughs> um... I don't know if I have it on here, but I did have Arachne working in DOS for browsing the web. That's quite fun. <laughs> um, well, we've got a little bit of time to kill until Star Warsing. So, what should we do? Should we go into DOS and listen to some something with some sick OPL music? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, um, I'm going to play some that was episode one, The Phantom Menace, the video game. Modern browsers need to be resource hungry since everything is sandboxed off. Browsers turned out to be a massive attack vendor. 
Yeah, obviously, like because like all malware comes from the internet. Doi. Although, yeah, can you imagine the meeting where Microsoft was like, "And let's have it so people can execute Visual Basic code in the browser. That'll be convenient for everyone." Fifty six point oh two for life. DOS tracker music. Ooh. Let's have a look. What have I got on here? Mm. Only got some music stuff on here. But what? I don't know. Mods. Modules. Oh, I got loads of modules on here. Okay. Mods. In E mods. Okay. We're restarting into DOS. Crusader tracks, yeah. I think so. I don't know if it always did. I feel like the first edition of 98. Didn't. It just had the login sound. I feel like it was uh, second edition and the Microsoft like um, theme pack or whatever it was added in the standard sounds. JavaScript, yeah. Right, XMS HMA should be fine. Um, the real question is, what do I have on here for playing mod music? I definitely know I have something. The question is, where is it? Hmm. Oops. Hmm. DOS games, DOS bench, DOS demos. Oh, MPXP. What's that? That looks like a mod player. Um, MPXP play. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, um, we need to go to a different drive. How do we go up a drive? Um. No. Edge up. Home. Uh. Back. Uh. Enter. Back. Escape. No. We'll get it. Reject JavaScript. Embrace pure HTML. My alternate. My alternative currently is Brave, which you're not particularly fond of, but haven't found an alternative. Bring back scroll scrolling marquees, yes. <laughs> you know what? A lot of those old things that you could do in JavaScript, um, you can do in like pure HTML, CSS now using the uh, the animate property which is fantastic basically just lets you change values of uh, css values on the fly with like time keyframes or time time uh, like amounts of time or whatever um how do we go back how do we navigate this not backspace tab uh uh no Backspace. How do we do it? Stop. 
Hmm. Normally you'd have, ah, the two dots at the top. Yeah. Okay, so then how do we go back even further to a different drive? Oh, Active X, boy. Block everything until I explicitly allow it, indeed. I, I know that this flash file is safe. Let me play it. <laughs> Um, I'm stuck. How do we go? How do we go up a directory? Uh, uh, oh, whoa, not A. Uh, uh, W? No. That's showing loose files. E. No file. Uh, what the fuck? Bracket opens the CD-ROM drive. What? <laughs> Does anyone know how this program works? <laughs> um, can this program even play mod files? Is the real question. Doesn't this play MP3s? Hold on a minute. Imported file formats. A, a, yeah, no, this is for digital. This is a digital music player. This isn't even a mod player. Doi. Definitely have a mod player on it somewhere. Question is where? Program files? Uh, Mozilla Firefox, lol. Um... Hmm. Surely it's not on the C drive. Got to the point now where I set up this machine so long ago and I put so much stuff on it that just finding stuff is like digital archaeology. Rip. If you think that it's shit... Oh, boss out of nowhere at the start of the year said... You need to port our custom CAD program for CNC machines to Windows 11. And you can't use a VM or PCMU. It's designed for Windows 95. Is it a 16-bit program? Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Oh, hey, BGH. <laughs> I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it. <laughs> it's a long one. I'll get on with it. Uh. Hmm. 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 Here we go. Wait, that's the same program. It doesn't play mods. But Open MPT should. I'm sure it had some tracker software on it, though. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's bleh. No, no, no. Let's just find a tracker program. Sure, I had some trackers on air. 
what a track, what a different track is called. <laughs> um, Milky Tracker? No. Um, it's been ages since I remembered anything. Too many things in this folder. Can anyone just tell me? Oh, 80. 82. That's definitely a tracker. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Never listens. Why does this not work? Let's just reboot. Might be the, the mode. I'll put it in the default DOS mode. Durr. Oh, you are useless. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a lot going on. Very busy. Dreams are kind of taking a <laughs> bit of a dent. <laughs> <laughs> in the on time department um right so let's just go with hi mem expanded can we stop i need a wee wee this does not work Um, okay. I'm sure there's another one on here. He's taking too long. I see. <laughs> um. Hmm. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah! I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it. Uh This is an outrage. You must do your duty. I'm concentrating. <laughs> You're also dramatic. Um Why can I not remember any tracker program names? It's making it very hard to identify Woo! them. Let's have a wild party! I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion mm. gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. Anytime you're ready. I'm sure I had several tracker programs on there. No idea where they are. Pal, check the door. You guys just having fun spamming the, the things. Uh, 
Uh. Hello, computer. Of course. <laughs> Him. What you got? Need a light? Well, I got lots of tracker music on there, but no bloody trackers. Good night. I return to serve. Ah. Uh. Demand to see life's manager. Make life rule the day it thought it could give cave judgment. Tracker, lemons. here we go. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm mm. gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> All right, we get to there. We go. Um, e. Well, that's easy to remember. All right, what are you feeling? What the trance music? Uh, what's the play button? F5, obviously. Oh, bugger. This is what you wanted, right? But now you get to listen to Final Fantasy music for like 10 seconds. <laughs> Dune and some patches, it says. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, how rude. You do do the max again, it should work when there's not a clip playing. Hmm. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnidi's desk. I don't know if I have that. These mostly tend to be sort of like mod group, uh, like demo groups. The card song, yes. Make it so, ma 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 ma. Make it so, that one. I think I probably could, but I mean, I've got a button, I can just... I'm a button. Yeah. Button's pretty easy.
Yeah, it could do. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's very sexy, isn't it? My eyes are augmented. Oh, suddenly ends. Uh, uh, control. Ah. What about, um, games? There you go, Crusader. Flashes no regrets. Will it continue to play while I'm looking for more songs? Yeah, it will. Yeah, Crusader and Jazz Jack Rabbit one. Argus I need to fix. I don't think I soldered on the voltage regulators properly. If I didn't solder them on properly, I didn't solder them onto the big pads underneath. I thought they were just grounding pads um, and just needed to have contact with like a, a bolt. Uh, I didn't actually solder them. So I think that's why it's no worky. Oh, now I'll fetch it. sound cards. <laughs> I'd say an order G1. Oh, 
go. It's these things. I think I need to, I don't think I've soldered them down properly. I need to do the big pads as well, but I've never done them before, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Also, my soldering could be a lot better. <laughs> Because it's what the people writing the general MIDI music uses to write the music. So of course it was going to support it. Yeah. Oh, this last one. Sound MCA card, which sadly doesn't work in the computer that I needed it to, because <laughs> it has addressing problems and it, you can't change the addresses on MCA. And sadly, the uh, the components that are using the addresses it needs are like internal and can't be disabled either, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Do you want this one, Imicat? <laughs> Yeah, same. I have a, an apricot QI, and sadly it won't work in that. I've tried. I'm probably having to use an OPL3 LTP. An NCR. People have a RX uh, 6700 XT. Are you looking at the data right now? I have no idea. <laughs> Another thing that's made it very difficult to identify what I've done wrong with this Argus is that I have no idea how the Argus is, uh, how the GUS is supposed to work. It's like, it, it's a clone of a Pro Sound Max, I think. So it's got the uh, AMD interweave chip on it. Um, but like, you need a patch set and you need an initialization program and you need another program that then supports Sound Blaster compatibility and I don't, I don't know. I'm not as smart as you. <laughs> I don't know. Sound cards, I, I use them and I, I understand the, the ones that I own because I can tinker with them. But um, yeah, I'm, I don't know about implementation and features of chips and things really. they got an air.
uplink. Yeah. That's probably enough messing around. Goons are good though. Back to Windows. <laughs> I need, really should move that tracker somewhere more sensible. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit scraggly, flemmy. Still getting over a cold, and I think the uh, hay fever season started, which is not something I really suffer with normally, but uh, apparently everyone gets a year every once in a while when it hits them. I guess it's my year. Stop rolling in the grass then, but how else am I supposed to touch grass? Why is that a meme? I don't know. Um... Shut my window. Right. I probably need to find a disc. But we'll uh we'll get things tested first. Like the controller. Do do do. Oh, it's the other one. That one. There we go. There are uh, the dead dead zones a little sticky. Uh. Hmm. All the buttons seem to be working fine though. So good. Point of view, yes. Um, default. Cool. The Phantom Menace. It's going to ask for a CD in it. Yep. 
Uh, Scout. Echelon 2001. Death Wish. OST. Future Cup. Battle Moon Rising. Lemmix Revolution. PDI Disc. Gunmetal. Dungeon Keeper. Ooh, it's one of them weird transparent ones. Ooh. Team Hospital. Judge Dread. Software Toolworks Challenge Pack. Aquaria 2. Bandor, the Invasion, Recoil, Blood, Plasma Pack. Eh. One unit whole blood. Uh, Chaos Engine doesn't work. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, this is all racing games. I hate racing games. The Sega Rally, blah, 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 blah. Zah. A oh, virus, the game that was a shit game. Battle Arena, Toshden, Virtual, C++, 6.0. Okay. Interesting. Not what I was looking for at all. Ah. I used to crack every game you could. Yeah. I do that, except for when it relies on the CD for the soundtrack, because CD audio streaming is is a thing. Why have the game engine manage the music when you can just have your sound card directly put it through your your, your sorry have your CD-ROM drive directly feed the music through your sound card? Ugh, too many CDs. I shouldn't have put these back in the wallet, but the wallet is also dying from the amount quantity of. That's cool. I really do need to get my Argus fixed, but I just don't know enough about about them and how to get it fixed and what I've done wrong because I just, it's the first thing I ever soldered together. So maybe it was a bit um over adventurous. <laughs> no, over over ambitious, that's the word. Where's Star Wars? Oh, it best be in here. Not in here, no. Did I miss it? Oh, what an egg. Okay.
Starcraft, Spider-Man, Red Alert, Zeta, Get Strike, Max Payne, Quake, Roll. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Now we're getting close. Dark Forces. Uh, no more Star Wars games. Beneath the Still Sky, Star Trek, Star Wars TIE Fighter, Rebel Assault, Star Lancer, no, Worms, Diablo, Planescape, it's not in here, I've lost it, bollocks. <laughs> This is an outrage! You must do your duty! Anytime you're ready! I don't know how I've lost the disc. I don't take them anywhere. Um, hmm. Not in another's drive, is it? No. Nope, that's empty. I really liked on future windows is where if you did eject again, it would close. Hmm. Oh. But if it's not a physical I know what it I know what I've done. There it is. There's a patch. It's gonna be in here somewhere. Blah blah blah. This is what I get. Um hmm. Oh, I'm so... Oh, look, loads of mod players. Neither of them are mod players. <laughs> it should be in here. But it's not. There's a patch for it. What about if we sort by date?
I mean, I guess I might just have to burn another CD. Yeah. <laughs> Still, it's a mystery as to where the disc's gone. There's no... No disc in here. Anyway, really weird. Blah, blah, blah. Look at my face for a minute. Um, what? Hit droids, rebellion, droid works, force commander. Hey, Kenny Goss, you didn't miss anything. I'm just trying to find a disc. Can't find it. I can't even find the image for it. Something <laughs> weird's going on. Hmm. Get chicken McHacken slash. Thank you very much. <laughs> How you doing, Craig? <laughs> JCMH just subscribed. JCMHS Hartman. Hello. Hello. And Steve as well. Welcome in. Hello. I wonder why I can't find this. Maybe. Maybe I used the Steam version and transferred it over? That seems unlikely. I wonder if it's a game I have on GOG, and that's why. Oh, I'm so confused. Mm. Mm. One second.
Slammer. Okay. The CD is reburning. I remembered where the CD was. I think it's in um, my old MacBook Pro because I was messing around with PCEM or something. Um, I was using that to test it. And, but yeah. Oh well. <laughs> that was episode one, The Phantom Menace. Picking up where we left off about a year ago. I can disable demon tools. That's good. almost done. I oh, know that's the uh, that's the buffer percentage. But it is flying flying along. Aren't C D burners great? Oh yeah, it's the it's the Lucas Arts launcher. They use this for everything. There's even like a uh, even the layout is the same for like the DOS version of of their launcher. They just have a full screen background. How does one burn a CD with lasers? Pew pew pew. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, <laughs> fucking lasers! Yeah, like that. <laughs> uh. You could do lasers again. I believe that's one. Or is it lasers two? It might just be lasers again. You need new burning software. Used to use Nero, but then that stopped working. Um, there's still a current version of Nero Express. Um, I, th I think there's like a sweet spot of one that still works for Windows 10 um, that you can still use an old license in. Um, I did that for a while, but I mostly just use Image Burn because it's free. I-M-G-B-U-R-N. <laughs> True. Yeah, I use Image Burn for images because it supports like um, clone CDs and alcohol 120% um, formats, which are really annoying. And uh, and I use Winamp for burning music CDs because why would I stop using Winamp? <laughs> Bobby Kotick was in it as a total butt. Well, that's not a surprise. Alright, it's just validating the disc because I forgot to untick validate on um, 40%. <laughs> it really whips the llama's ass.
Are you done yet, CD Burner? I was going to say, well, we've managed to fuck around for an hour, but we've managed to fuck around for an hour and 20 minutes, so. Yeah, I still use Winamp. There's a new version of it. I think it's like 595 or something. And it worked pretty good. But there's one annoying plugin in it that they've added to the media library that does nothing. It's just oh, called NFT library. And it's Mondays. supposed to load a web page that doesn't exist. And you can just delete the the plugin from the library, from the plugin list, in, from within the program. Just go, um, like, options, plugins, manage library plugins, click on it and press delete plugin. <laughs> Uh, they've got some stupid new web player that's supposed to look like Spotify. It's really gross. Like, whoever's doing stuff with the, the Winamp IP is, like, kind of retarded. But at least they have, like, they've maintained a couple of engineers to continue working on Winamp who haven't fucked it up yet. It's very bizarre. I immediately dropped it on the floor and then got my fingerprints all over it. Good stuff. I had Deezer for a while because it came free with my first Samsung smartphone back in the day. But I, I've used, been using Spotify since it existed, so... Yeah. Oh, that frame rate. Mmm. Load game. Oh, no, sir. It's a feed. It's a Naboo. A Misa 6 HP. Uh, I don't know. Which one's 27 minutes? 14 minutes, 15 minutes, 2 minutes 50, hmm. Which one's the most further or furthest ahead? This is already bonkers. Um, which, which level is the, is the most ahead one? I'm gonna to have to look at the uh, at the save file dates, aren't I? Alt tab. Bet you that crashes it. Oh, it doesn't crash it. But the game's got no title. Good job there, Lucas Lucas Arts. Now, where do we reckon that the save games are in a save to? It's the game directory or my documents? Um, let's go with Lucas Arts. Nope. Uh, okay. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Find target. E games, The Phantom Menace. Okay. Save. Um. The one at the top is the most recent. By a year and a month over the others. So I'm guessing save zero zero is the quick save. Maybe. Why are they called Zanzi? Hmm. Guessing zero zero is the top slot.
Haven't we done all this? Didn't we do like a Naboo level and... Hmm. Dreams of real time travel. Doing the hard disk pie charts. Doing the hard disk pie charts takes you back. Right, we'll give this one a go. Uh, we can just check the. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Why? I've ha I remember having this problem before, but I don't remember why. Is it? Um, could be the resolution or something or the refresh rate, maybe. Um, it could be too many joysticks as well. That sometimes is a thing. Well, let's first of all, let's put it on low and see if we can get it to run. At. Eight hundred by six hundred. Let's just start a new game. It can't find the CD. Yes, through the sound card, yeah. Um, hmm.
Okay. Um. Beep bloop. I just I don't understand what's really going on. It worked the last time I played it. I haven't changed anything. Ugh. Uh, 10 slash 100 networking is so slow. <sighs> Sorry, this is not a very great stream so far. <laughs> I'm cold as well. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> Just copying the uh, ISO over. Wonder if there's something wrong with the CD-ROM drive, or maybe the burn wasn't successful, or I don't know. Hey, scratch post. <laughs> Another one of them streams. It Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Sixty seconds it says. <laughs> if it works, I don't know why it's not working. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> PC says no. Right, it's that's transferred. Let's see what happens. Back to there. Hold on a tickeroony. Hold on, just one momento. Sivu play. Um, L L for Lucas Arts. L L L L Lucas Arts. The Phantom Menace. Install path E. Excuse me, path E. Analyze path I. I don't have an I because that's the, the that's the flipping demon tools drive and oh, flip, flippity flip. That means there is already an ISO one here somewhere. I just couldn't find it and I'm useless. Ah! <laughs> Why is everything difficult? One drive. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. There you go. One iDrive. Let's mount an image. Let's mount E Dead Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Q file. 
you know what? Probably want to mount CCD file. No, it's, it, it is fine. This is all fine. Stop it. Emulation, all emulation. Bugger off, registry editor. It's a Star Wars. Hardware configuration, video options. I'm going to put this back on. Okay. Play the Phantom Menace. Oh, it's just anything that uses the registry to store stupid values like where the CD is. Well, the fact that the videos are working now is a good sign. Lord game. Lord game. There we go. It was the CD. Directory in the registry. Yep. Okay, cool. That's that's working as expected. Really slowly. We are going to go to general options. Put it in a higher resolution because that should speed things up. Doi. Will it? I don't know. I don't think so, really, but whatever. Performance. Everything. Okay. And then we quit. Yes. And quit. And then launch it again, because that's what it said to do. And that should be it. And now we get to spend the next half an hour fiddling with graphical options. Yeah! Everyone's favorite. Your brain. <laughs> Computer problems. They're just brain problems. Where? Lord game. Lord game. Hello, Marissa Dome. I don't remember the controls. The controls aren't working. Don't know why the controller's not working. Options. Controller options. Game controller. Hey, they're all plugged in, so I'm guessing that I have the wrong controller selected. Oh, is it as simple as just unplugging it and plugging it into the other port? Please be that simple. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Gotta go sort out some champs. Much love. Oh, thanks, folks, for hanging out. The only Star Wars game you ever played that was the Yoda Stories thingy and, and also the pod racing game in 64. Yeah. Embrace the jank. Naughty's aesthetic is your jam. Oh, e ah. Oh, it, it wants to run forward all the time. Okay, it stopped wanting to run forward at the time. Let's walk, let's run. Right, so that's hit. That's use force push. Don't know what that is. Let's jump. Roll right, left and right. Ah, that's the roll modifier button. So if I hold that, I can choose to roll left and right rather than pressing buttons to do it. Don't know what that button does. Oh, it's the run button. Okay. 
hold down that button to run. And pressing down that stick gets your lightsaber out. But I really have to use the keyboard to change weapon. Look at the options real quick. Select weapon one, button twelve. Edit control. Next weapon. Button nine is select weapon one. So wait on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, that's select and ten, so uh, let's make that one previous weapon. We'll make button ten. Next weapon. And we can delete that. And we can delete that. That. Have we got an activate slash use button? Oh yeah, button one. Button 12. Uh, it's a, I'm using a PlayStation controller on the PC. So 11 is the stick down and 12 is the other stick down. Oh, that's a fun noise. The sounds just died. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Why has the sound quality just gone to garbage? Oh, because it's trying to use 3D. Um, um. Hee hee. Hee hee hee. <laughs> oh, it's wrecked the sound on the whole computer? Um, what's going on? That's never happened before. Is my, uh, is my sound card on the way out? Um. <laughs> Hello? The sample rate of conversion be on the lowest. Oh, four! I mean five! I mean fire! Oh, that's really weird. I need to know if that's the computer or if it's my capture. One sec. Okay, it's not doing it on speakers. It's my capture. Um. Huh. What would fix that? So, 
We've discovered some new a problem with my new capture setup. Counter Strike robot voice. Is my is my voice all messed up as well? Is my mic okay, or is it just the capture sound? Mic is fine, okay. I don't understand. I've tried disabling the device and re-enabling it, and that's not fixed it. But it's definitely coming out of speakers okay. So it's not the sound card. I don't... Maybe OBS? Yeah, I've done that. I've yanked the capture and plugged it back in. 